Hi, I'm Oliver Camado, Principal of the International Macrobiotic School and long-term uh, macrobiotic uh, health consultant and uh, health teacher. And I want to talk to you today about the, the, the wonderful benefits of becoming a health coach. Uh, I first started learning in 1980 uh, about uh, how to use food, lifestyle, uh, 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 body work, etc., to really benefit people's health. And uh, after some years of training, I've been doing this for probably about the past 37, 38 years now. And um, this is a really nice way of making money and of building a career. So I want to tell you about some of the benefits. The first thing is, it's, uh, it's really quite flexible. Uh, you're working for yourself. Uh, you can work uh, the hours that you want to work. You can work mornings. You can work afternoons. You can do a bit of evening work. Um, if you have children, it's um, you can work during school hours. Um, if you have other work, you can combine it with uh, doing other other work as well. It's really very flexible, and along with the fact that it is a relatively well paid um, um, work, um, rates of pay vary widely according to which country you're in, what parts of the country you're in. In the UK, if you're in London, um, I'm always amazed at the prices of things in London. You're probably going to be um, um, asking for £100 plus per hour. Uh, in the regions, it might be more like £50 to £60 per hour. So in a morning of working for three, three and a half hours, you can maybe make in the regions £150, £200, uh, which is pretty good for half a day's work. Of course, there's other work. Um, continuous professional development and advertising yourself and promoting yourself and uh, doing further studies, etc. Uh, so um, there is other work in order to produce those three hours. But as you build a build a practice um, you the earnings can be quite really quite good uh, in a short space of time. Um, with the pandemic, many people now are working online. Um, so whereas the old system was you would see everybody in person, which means a lot of traveling. Um, personally, I always prefer people seeing people um, in person, um, but it actually works uh, surprisingly well seeing people online. And it means that you can help people um, who live at a distance. And actually, you know, I see people from you know, many parts of the world uh, working online, a lot from North America, all over Europe, Middle East, sometimes India um indonesia you know etc um, so it really expands uh, the range of people that you can um that you can communicate with which is which is great for business and it is also really fun uh, talking with people from different cultures and, and different parts of the world um so it's it's a very flexible uh, way of working um it's quite easy to um to uh, build quite a good practice, um, uh, a part-time practice. Um, you could also build, um, uh, some people also build a full-time practice and our course has some advantages in helping you do that, which I'm going to get to in a bit. Um, I would say another benefit of being a health coach is that it's extremely satisfying. It's extremely satisfying supporting people and guiding people towards greater health. And that often means healing a lot of different health problems and um, becoming a lot happier, um, uh, becoming much uh, healthier and happier emotionally. Uh, it's really wonderful uh, to see people transforming and making changes and uh, just coming alive, more alive and lighter and, uh, and being less weighed down by particular health problems and worries and so on. It's, it's really very satisfying work. Uh, we're a real privilege to be able to you know, that people can open up to you and tell you about themselves and what's going on and um, and then you, know, um, um, you really see them changing um, re really really uh, very very satisfying work um, some of the benefits of our training um, our training is uh, quite a lot longer than a lot of uh, health coach training uh, it's quite different in a number of ways uh, one way is that we're using a, a lot of oriental medicine to really understand the health and how the body works. We also study some Western nutrition and physiology and things like that as well, uh, which is all very useful and interesting, uh, but our emphasis is much more on using oriental medicine. Oriental medicine has followed a different path to Western medicine. 
they're both great and they also complement each other very well. Uh, but the oriental medicine has really looked at how people's diet, lifestyle, um, ways of thinking, behaving, emotions, um, forms of exercise and activity, and just about everything, how all these things impact the body and create changes in health. And, um, and is therefore very good at seeing how we can really fundamentally improve health, uh, which results in healing a lot of different health problems. So you'd be learning a, a whole system of oriental medicine or various methods of oriental health diagnosis um, um, and um, how the health can be changed um, through specific changes in foods, ways of cooking, cooking styles, um, medicinal teas, compresses, um, particular exercises, um, also with body work, uh, and, and so on. So it's really, really comprehensive approach. We do actually uh, quite often get people who've done a, a short health coaching set, um, training somewhere else and are enjoying their health coaching and they're now looking for how they can take the next step and really take um, uh, take their work into much greater depth and be able to help people more profoundly. Um, Certainly, I think, you know, oriental medicine is powerful and macrobiotics presents it in a very easy to use way, uh, very easy to apply way uh, with the aim of empowering um, uh, anybody who really wants to uh, take more control of their health. Um, also, our training is, is uh, because it's holistic, uh, it's not, we're not just training people to do health coaching. We're also training people to become very good cooks because in this approach, in this macrobiotic oriental approach, it's not only the foods we eat that have an effect on our health, um, it's also how we cook them as it makes an enormous difference. Not only if you're getting people onto a healthier diet, do they need to learn how to cook these different foods in a way that is really appetizing so that they enjoy the food and they'll continue on this path uh, for, for good. Um, um, but also um, how we cook the food can really change the effect it has in the body. This is not studied very much in Western medicine. So in Western medicine, Western science, a carrot is a carrot and a carrot has certain nutrients in it. And um, when you eat it, you get those nutrients. But because oriental medicine is more functional um, uh, and looking at um, a carrot in different ways, uh, we can see it has very different effects. So imagine that you Take a, take a nice carrot, preferably an organic one because it just the flavor is much better. You grate it finely, maybe add a few drops of lemon juice um, um, and eat it as a salad, um, maybe with some other seasonings as well. But we eat it as a salad, feel what effect would that have on your body? It would have a cooling effect. It would feel fresh, light, opening, and in, 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 uh, in macrobiotics, we'd see that this really particularly helps the liver. Uh, it stimulates the liver, it helps the liver energy to flow, and it helps the liver function. And would help various liver-related problems uh, in the body. We could also take the same carrot, cut it into big chunks, and uh, roast them in the oven or cook them in a stew. So they're cooked a long time. They become warm uh, and sweet. How do you feel when you eat roasted vegetables? Completely different to raw. Um, they tend to have a more warming effect in the body, more energizing, more of a nourishing feel, and also have a sweet flavor. Uh, so they're giving us a sweet flavor, which is a nourishing taste, so that we can feel, you know, uh, feel more nourished after eating it. So in oriental medicine, this would particularly have an effect um, on the pancreas and the stomach and the spleen. These organs are particularly nourished by this kind of longer cooked, um, warm, sweeter food. So same food, completely different effects. And we could also cook it in different ways to help the lungs, to help the kidneys, um, uh, reproductive organs, uh, different organs in the body. So this is the alchemy of cooking that we teach in macrobiotics. Um, so as part of your health coach training, you're learning to health coach, you're then learning the, the alchemy of cooking for healing. Um, we also teach people well-being shiatsu. 
Um, this creates another uh, income stream um, and it works very well alongside, um, uh, alongside health coaching. Um, health coaching is more uh, orientated towards changing people's understanding and then they were going home and making certain changes in their lives. Shiatsu has more of an instant effect. Um, it's great at uh, getting the key flowing in the body, getting the blood, the lymph flow, uh, relaxing areas of tension, um, really, st really stimulating particular organs and particular meridians, uh, really increasing the energy. And this can really, really um, speed up people's healing. Um, so um, for nearly 40 years, I've been using macrobiotic uh, uh, health coaching alongside shiatsu and it just works for some people that combination works really really well um, another aspect we're studying is emotional healing um, we're not going you know we're not training to become a psychotherapist um, but we are giving some basic skills in emotional counseling because sometimes you've got a client and this is uh, the main area that needs to change some people it's the food, sometimes it's the lifestyle, people need some exercise and cut down on work and do more nourishing things um, or whatever. And sometimes it's the emotional side where people are stuck and just doing a little uh, light um, uh, emotional counselling can really help shift that. Um, and then they find it easier to change their food, change their lifestyle, um, and it makes the, it makes the health coaching uh, much more effective. Um, so you can maybe understand from this how holistic we are we're working um when we're health coaching what we wanted to do is understand what's happening in the body uh, what's happening emotionally what's happening in people's lives uh, their lifestyle their relationships their work etc what people are eating and how do these all fit together because they do they always all fit together they're all affecting each other so we look at all these different aspects uh, we see a certain and we see certain patterns within that, certain kind of healthy patterns and also unhealthy patterns. And then we work in different ways at, at changing those unhealthy patterns into healthy ones. And very often an unhealthy eating pattern, an unhealthy emotional pattern and an unhealthy lifestyle pattern all go together. And if you want to change one of those, you have to look at changing the others as well. Um, because otherwise that, that one thing uh, that they, they can't change. So on our training, you're really learning a great package, um, uh, a great range of skills and um, um, to be able to help a lot of people deeply. The structure of the training is it's part time. Uh, many people, we get many people who have other jobs, who are raising families, have other part time work. So our course is a part time. Um, we for, for, we've been going for 20 years now. Uh, running residential courses where people come and study here at our centre in Devon, uh, where we have a purpose-built kitchen with 12 workstations, individual workstations, uh, so our own accommodation, teaching rooms, etc. Um, so very nice premises. Uh, in a very peaceful part of the Devonshire countryside. Nice kind of retreat place. Um, and um, a couple of years ago, we also started running some of our training online. Our training is divided into, uh, into two years. First year, foundation year, the focus is on our students improving their own health. Because if we're gonna help other people, <laughs> we gotta heal ourselves, or we gotta be in the process of healing ourselves. And when we're healing ourselves, we learn so much uh, that we can then use in helping others. When we've experienced making dietary changes and doing different exercises and lifestyle changes, it really helps us in helping others. And this foundation course, you're doing uh, Darwin energetic exercises, you're learning the meridian system, which is used in shiatsu and acupuncture, which is incredibly useful. Um, you're learning oriental medicine, oriental health diagnosis, uh, learning the relationship between food and different health problems. We're using yin and yang, we're using the five element or five transformation theories. You're doing a lot of cooking classes, um, you're learning interviewing skills communication skills and basic uh, emotional counseling skills um, uh, a whole great package um, um, over about 30 days uh, usually spread over about nine months homework to do in between we get you to do practical homework so you're helping to digest uh, all this information 
The online course is about two thirds online. And then there's a 10 day intensive here at school. Um, we do this because what we're doing is so practical. Um, the hands-on work, the doing work, the cooking work, we want to see, we want to see you cooking um, and give you all the advice and support we can. Um, the oriental diagnosis work, et cetera, is much best taught uh, in person. So we have this intensive. Um, um, some brief exams at the end of the foundation year. And then the second year, uh, again, about 30 days, we really focus on the health coaching. Um, quite soon you start giving health coaching to clients under our supervision, sometimes in class and, and plus at home. Um, we're also learning well-being shiatsu. We're also learning how to cook for a wide range of different kinds of clients. Uh, people on exclusion diets, men, women, children, babies, older people for different climates, you know, all, all kinds of different situations, different kind of, sometimes different kinds of illnesses as well. So you're learning a really wide repertoire in your cooking, also entertainment cooking. Because some people really enjoy uh, entertainment cooking, cooking for parties, weddings, etc. Um, and at the end of that year, because you've been practicing throughout the year, you've developed good skills and a um, set of exams, and you're then able to go out and start practicing immediately. With a range of skills, health coaching is central. Some people just really enjoy the cooking side of things. They enjoy cooking for groups. They start giving cooking classes. Some people started their own cooking school. Some people really enjoy the well-being shiatsu um, and start giving shiatsu, paid shiatsu treatments uh, to, to clients. Um, some people go further with, you know, develop the shiatsu further to become a full shiatsu practitioner which we kind of help with, uh, I'll say in a second. So really have a lot of skills at the end of the second year, in-depth understanding. We do also run a third year, uh, more advanced year. Um, the third year. On the third year, we go into a lot more depth with oriental medicine, really looking at the causes and how to heal a really wide range of different health problems. And you're, you're, giving, you're learning to give health consultations just specifically um, uh, see if we can heal particular health problems. And we're also studying a lot more medicinal cooking. So we're kind of taking the, the healing to a much deeper level, be able to help a much wider range of clients. Um, who's this for? Who's this training for? Really anybody who's really enthusiastic about, about health, about their own health, and also enthusiastic about helping people, uh, helping other people with their health. Um, if you feel that you really enjoy guiding pe other people and helping other people um, uh, towards greater health, um, it's very satisfying. If that turns you on, then this could be a great thing to do. Um, and we'll really support you in, in uh, building your own health and also in building your skills to, in order to help other people. So the next, um, the next foundation courses, we've got two starting in 2023. We have a fully residential course uh, starting at the end of March uh, and running till December. Uh, we have places on that course still, and we also have an online course starting in April, which runs until November. So two different ways of studying, whichever suits you better. And um, we're offering some big discounts on these courses uh, this year only because of this financial crisis that we're in. A lot of people wanting to do our courses, but struggling financially. So we're offering some, some big discounts uh, for this year only. So do check those out on our website. Okay, thank you very much for listening and uh, be wonderful to see you sometime.